Hi everyone, this is the director's audio commentary. The first thing I would like to introduce to you would be my sign, and it says wear pink to support breast cancer research. Inspired and motivated by the pink ribbons of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. What I wanted most from this experiment, well, what I want to achieve is to have people be aware of the issue. And by wearing pink, it shows that you are supportive and aware of the cause. And hopefully, people will take action in real life like they did in Second Life. So, in this clip here, a few of my friends from class have already responded to my sign by changing their hair color pink. Outside of the friend zone, it got a little difficult to get good response from people I don't know. So here at Asbury Sandbox, I looked around to see if there's any people. And it was only this guy and me at a time. So I went up to the guy and I tried to get his attention. I even performed the same gesture three times and he never responded. He even ran away. So I tried my luck elsewhere at a different sandbox. This is a little blue island sandbox. I had better responses here. I used local chat and a few people replied to my messages. Here, this avatar character responded by creating a pink fire energy ball. I found that that was pretty neat. <laughs> oh, yeah, and here's another one who changed her clothing into pink. I encountered another avatar, Hawks Wind, who was a great contributor to my research. The story behind this was that at the beginning, she stopped responding for a little while, so that's when I teleported to another location to try again. It wasn't long until she replied back, so I returned to Fermi Sandbox, and it turns out that she made her gloves pink. What I got from this experiment is that it's not so different from real life. Some people respond, some people don't. It really depends on the people, and how you approach them, how you get their attention. But I honestly have to say is that it was much easier for me to approach others virtually. I literally approached anyone who was near the sign. And because I don't know who they are and they don't know who I am in real life, starting conversations virtually had made documenting a whole lot easier.